Well, let's see Tim Sheaf here again then, Scott, and we can actually take a breath here and settle back and enjoy this, because at the time, it all came in an absolute blur. He was just moving amazingly. His strength, that one hand handstand to start off with, the cat 180 to the back tuck, this cat 180 to rail precision. That was the slip up he said that he made that the judges didn't quite pick up. But it was the fact that he managed to keep going and then just blinded us with this. This is his trademark, the flag, but it's walking up the pole. Definitely. I mean, most of the other guys, when they, when they made a little mistake, it knocked their confidence, but Tim just got right back up and just did his thing. And we've seen him all day, haven't we? Absolute icy cold stares he's been giving. Not that he's not a lovely guy, because he is, but he's been so in the zone. I mean, this, could you do this? That is beyond me. That, that strength is absolutely ridiculous. And the thing is, this will inspire other free runners as well to do this sort of thing, to, to be more creative with the upper body. And it's not just about corks and twists. It's not just about the big tricks. Oh, definitely. It's all about the control. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. I think we could tell as soon as he finished he was going to be the champion.